Big story tonight, the doctor for an incapacitated woman who gave birth at Hacienda Healthcare was scheduled for a hearing today to learn the fate of his medical license. Dr. Tan Nguyen accused of missing signs that she was pregnant, but the case pulled from the Arizona Medical Board's agenda. Team 12's Michael Doudna tried to catch up with Dr. Nguyen today. Michael? Guys, the medical board was scheduled to actually dismiss the case against Dr. Wynn today, but just weeks after a notice of claim detailing alleged missteps, the case removed from the agenda and still yet to be decided. It is here at the state medical board where they were scheduled to review whether Dr. Tan Nguyen should keep his medical license after an incapacitated woman in his medical care gave birth in late December. She had a baby. What a baby. Records show caregivers missed 83 signs. The woman, unable to speak or move without assistance, was pregnant. Dr. Wynn became the primary doctor in September of last year, and the medical board is now deciding the fate of his medical license. Today, though, the board removed his case from the agenda. Medical board executive director Pat McSorley declined an interview on camera, saying she could not comment on pending cases, but she said there are numerous reasons why a case could be pulled from the agenda and told us that the board likes to be thorough and look at all information. But despite his case no longer being before the board, Dr. Wynn was there, dressed in sunglasses, a fedora, a jacket, and a scarf. He noticed our cameras, and even after the board broke for lunch, stayed stock still, even as the room emptied out. We waited around 15 minutes before we approached the doctor to ask questions about what exactly happened at Hacienda Healthcare. Dr. Nguyen? Hi, sir. Doctor, we're just trying to learn a little bit more information. Sir, if you could just answer a couple questions for us, we'd really appreciate it if possible. Sir. Sir. I mean, we'd just really like to know, sir. Now, he would actually continue running all the way outdoors, all the way to the parking garage. We actually found his cell phone and gave him a call later, and Dr. Wynn still refused to answer our questions and hung up on us. Now, it's unclear at this point when his case will appear before the medical board once again, but when that happens, we plan to be there once again. Guys, back over to you. All right, Michael, thank you.